Guys, what is up? It's Ben here from North Carolina. You know, I have the new U-Float from PPG Smoke here. I'm super excited to have this. Um, I actually purchased it a few weeks ago when I was planning a trip down to Florida, and I was hopeful that I'd get a chance to fly out by the beach. That never happened, and I haven't set it up yet. The way that you would hook this U-Float up to each frame may be slightly different. So Ken, let me show you this. All right, traditional system might go right here on the shoulder straps. Okay. One on each, and then you can just leave it there all the time. Yeah. The way they show this one in the marketing material, it's kind of behind the pilot there. Okay. And so when it inflates, you know, it has this big area right here, mm. which is great because that's where you want the flotation behind your head, right, mm. to keep you up. Mm -hmm. The trouble is, you know, you have all these Velcros. Um, these ones wouldn't actually be able to fit here because that's where the harness is attached to the frame. Okay. And then the other thing is, if I were to Velcro all these down, they would inhibit the ability oh, of the swing arm. I see. How far is this? So, so potentially, I could hook this one at the bottom and this one in the mid and just like cut this off. Yeah. And it may not. But I could try it like this mm -hmm. and just see how I like it. Anything you want to do? I think, how far was it out to the corning plant? Which I want to say six miles. So, six miles. Yeah, it wouldn't take long. You want to go over there? Yeah, I'll shoot for that one. Okay, good. Oh. Messing around and it's 536. Still got nearly an hour for a flight. Clear prop. air traffic right there. He sees me. He's going to head off into this field. I can see that my friend Ken is getting ready to launch. There he goes, actually. There's a place where we came up slightly to the left, but we got to straight down. seem too afraid of me. I'll get high enough. So it always feels like the most fun flying and the most interesting flying is when you're actually closer to the ground and you can interact with the terrain and just get a better view of everything. But of course I do like to climb here when I have some of these larger tracks of woods. I've seen this home before, it's absolutely stunning. Like a little chateau here in North Carolina. There's a little burger place right there on the corner, believe it or not, and I've always wondered if I could fly there. I hate to land in someone else's field, but perhaps I could get permission to land here and go get a burger for lunch. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is the uh, corning plant. I had talked about it in an earlier video, but uh, pretty impressive company. And one of the things that I read that they manufacture at this facility is uh, fiber optic cable. can see a little bit of variety in terms of landscape. I don't see Ken at the moment. I'm pretty high. Now I know he has a shrub on. I actually don't have mine. So I really do need to land at something like 621 tonight. And I think I'm going to be fine. This is the uh, Rocky River. So I was talking a little bit about my flotation earlier. I bought it I've tried to think about the best setup for it, but I do not yet have it set up. So I, always, I always need a field within glide distance. Still don't see Ken, even though I'm lower. Oh, there he is. I think he maybe just wanted to explore in that direction a little bit. great night for a couple reasons. One, it's warm. I don't have to wear gloves tonight. Two, the air was really still. It felt like, you know, two to four, something like that, when we took off. Now, maybe almost no wind. I want to spend some time flying low and experimenting with my wing a little bit. It's been rare this winter since I've started to use this wing that I've had some really still nights like tonight and I can feel super comfortable with everything that I'm doing. And there is some beautiful land out here. So these guys are building a house here and it must be a large project because they actually have a crane on site. Uh, there he is. Right at sunset. Rule follower that I am. I'm gonna grab this up and get out of the way so Ken can land.
Tim wanted to put it down right by his truck. All right, guys. Great flight tonight. Perfect conditions. Waited all winter for something like that. Wow, look at that. What's he doing so long? I gotta check that on Flight Radar 24. Okay, so that guy's at 4,000 feet right now. Going into Charlotte, I'm sure. Anyway guys, appreciate you coming out, joining me for that flight, checking out the channel. I'm gonna put the gear away and I'll see you guys on the next flight.